right there. So we are going to be getting this limb off of this. This broke out yesterday, I believe. Um, I'm going to rig it out, actually. <laughs> I'm going to attach a rope onto it right about there. And um, Benjamin's going to pull it up. And then we're going to lower it down without damaging anything. All right, so we're up here. I'm making a video, by the way, Benjamin. This here is our rigging point. We have it attached. We just have this dead piece here. Um, let me take that out first. Because we have this. This is from above. Um, the piece that's sitting on the roof. There's really, really no damage to speak of, which is awesome. Looks like that's a pretty new roof on there, too. So anyway, uh, it's going to be, it, so in my previous years I probably would have gone and tried to do this without rigging it, but uh, I've learned that these pe kinds of pieces are much heavier than they look usually, and uh, once you're out standing on it, you have to pick up each piece and throw it carefully, you have nothing to actually put my lanyard around so even though I'm low to the ground and this isn't really that big of a deal it's just the better and the easier way to rig it so I can have Benjamin pull up on it and get it vertical and then we can deal with it. We also have this shed underneath here we're being cautious of. There's Benjamin. Hi Benjamin. And um, but yeah so as this thing folds upwards towards me this piece here is going to be in the way so what I don't want it to do is break it's not, I don't want it to break when that touches it. I also don't want that to just stop dead when it touches this and get tangled up. So uh, we're going to just sort of take it up now. So here on the bottom of the piece, you can see that it's a, it's could kind of snap off as I walk out on it. So I've got it attached with two straps. We did a tree recently just like this, me and Benjamin, with uh, that pine tree, you know? It's kind of similar. Very similar. So, except about 50 feet lower. <laughs> uh, but here we have the view from here. Again, I don't think there's any damage on the house, but I'm hoping that this baby doesn't want to snap off. So I took my chainsaw off and attached it right there, so it's not, I don't have the weight on my belt. A little trick for Benjamin in the future. All right, let's get out there and put the put the strap on there. All right. Action. <laughs> expert all right so you can see the tree got lifted up and it swung over here into this uh, other brush which means we can't pull it any higher so but that's not really where we want it to come down so much so I'm gonna try and notch it so that we can as Benjamin pulls it it's gonna swing out of there hang vertically and then we can take it down right here Well, we got everything on the ground. That just about does it. There goes 
Kara. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so we got everything on the ground. There's the tree behind me. While I was up there, I just did. Uh, I just cleaned it out. We got the dead wood. Um, and also, I lightened up the right side of it. See how it's lopsided now that something else has gotten out of it, has broken out of it, but in the past. And now it's like pretty heavy to the right. That that seems to be causing it to twist in the wind. And you can actually see a dark streak down the trunk. That's a crack. So by maybe taking a little bit of the the wind out of it on that side, it might might sort of. It won't be symmetrical, but it'll maybe behave as though it's a little bit more symmetrical. But now it's time to go dump that material. And we'll do it. Bye. Okay, we're rolling out to a job site. Ready? Arborist car, go! It has to be working. Hopefully it's... <laughs> this baby's fully decked out for battle. See if we can get it started. Oh, there it goes. There ride, go. Benjamin, ride. Oh, don't come so fast. <laughs> Steady now. See you in the woods. <laughs> Here goes Layla.